Welcome back, everybody, to the Wax Pack Flashback. Uh, Jason here, of course, and we're going through my series of the grossest cards ever. Uh, cannot wait to get through here. We're only, you know, two packs in, and we have uh, a special guest. Adam is here. Adam. Hey, everybody. Rawr. <laughs> For only the second time in the history of the Wax Pack Flashback, we've got a, a double opening in the same video. How about that? Yeah, super exciting. It was just, it so happened that uh, this was coming up in your series, and I was out and about, and I found a seller at an antique store who had these cards, and I was like, I can't believe it. So I texted you, I was like, hey, what do you think? Should we do this together, open them up? And uh, a plan came together beautifully. Yes, yes, a very good plan. Uh, not as good as the plan uh, that happened Saturday for your 40th birthday with the, the Batman Returns party. That was just amazing. Uh, I still have uh, playing with some of the trinkets and stuff that you sent over. <laughs> but that was really fun. And of course, uh, you just dropped a video on Batman Returns cards in the feed. So, uh, and, and you've got the whole birthday party too, right? On the Wizards channel. Yeah. So if you want to go over to Wizards podcast on YouTube, you can actually find my, uh, my edited version of the party, all the highlights, all the fun, all the nostalgic trinkets uh, from 1992 that we pulled together for that party. So, yeah, that was, that was so great. And now I've got to figure out what to do, like for my 50th, which is still four <laughs> years away, but uh, you know, Something like that has got to happen. Anyway, we are here uh, to continue the grossest cards ever, and we're going to look at a pack of Dinosaurs Attack. Now, these oh, came yeah. out in nice Oh, now you've got two. you got variant covers here. Yeah, I found a <laughs> red pack. pack also, yeah. That's awesome. I only have this one blue pack, uh, probably courtesy of Mickey a couple years ago. And these came out in uh, 1988 by the Tops Company. Um, five cards, one sticker, and one very old stick of bubble gum. <laughs> <laughs> now, you read up a little bit on these cards. Do so you know kind of a little bit about these? Yeah, I, I had heard about Dinosaurs Attack because, it, you know, Mars Attacks, obviously a very big film in the 90s that we all remember from Tim Burton. But those were, you know, that film is inspired those cards came out in the 60s they were super old school and super violent the fully painted cards and all of that so this was now you know 20 years later they were saying maybe we could do that again you know kids are loving garbage pail kids and all the gross cards that we released so what if we had hyper violent cards and maybe that would be a new <laughs> phenomenon which is you know tops they love to push the boundaries they did those fright flicks cards with horror characters and right. all that uh, but what I found most interesting is who the artists were. Uh, so what they did was, you know, they had like the original, like Art Spiegelman is kind of the guy who is behind a lot of these, these Topps cards brands uh, in series that he'd put together the concept for with his partner. But then they would get like an artist to sketch out some ideas. And then they would get another artist to do the finished painted version. And the finished paintings for a lot of these cards were by a guy named Earl Norum. Do you know that name, Jason? Not offhand, no. Masters of the Universe fans know him very well because a great deal of the painted Masters of the Universe box art and posters and different oh, things, wow. promotional items, that was Earl Norum who would do those. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. So he's got his So there's an the Eternian uh, link. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So oh, and, uh, cool. there was another fun fact I read, which I'm not sure if it's true, because they said before Tim Burton made Mars Attacks, he was going to make a Dinosaurs Attack movie, but then Jurassic Park came out, so he dropped that idea and did Mars Attacks hmm. instead. But I heard that Tim Burton was offered to direct Jurassic Park. That's the way I've always heard the story. And so I don't know. I, I'm not quite sure how that all came together, but uh, <laughs> it's an interesting bit of history if that's true. Yeah, absolutely. I had no, uh, done no research on Jurassic Park or, or any really Tim Burton. Uh, I've just enjoyed his movies, you know, along the years. I actually watched Batman last night here. So uh, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of in the Tim Burton mood. So We'll see if we get any feels from Tim Burton in these, or yeah. if it's more, you know, <laughs> Masters of the Universe. So, 
Well, you ready to dive into these? I am. I'm excited. All right. Let's do this uh, opening here for Dinosaurs Attack. Let the carnage begin. All right. Well, I'm excited here to open up this pack. I mean, first of all, just check out this art here, Jason. This, <laughs> this dinosaur chopping this businessman in half. You know <laughs> I mean? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> These are going to be gruesome, I think. Yeah. I've, I've never opened a pack before. before. Have you opened a pack before? I have. I've, I've taken a look through it before just because I, I had seen them once and I was like, wow, these are, you know, pretty fantastic. But yeah, the gore is there. And of course, you know, you get five cards, one sticker, one stick of bubble gum, like Jason was telling us. No special offers, nothing there. So I think it's just time to get into it here. So yeah, man. Uh, first up, Blue Water Savage Death. Now, what kind of <laughs> dinosaur is that? Come on. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> That's a the that's God crazy. Like the but look, he's even chasing Jaws. You see that? <laughs> a little bit of everything, yeah. Yeah. Now, the fun thing about this series, I love that they have the newspaper, like, reports. So each oh, thing cool. is actually, like, yeah, like a little report uh, based on the, you know, luxury liner sucked by aquatic reptile. So, <laughs> yeah, they have a lot, obviously a lot of little jokes in there. That's great. That's great. Yeah, All I can't right, wait to dive into mine now. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, got? cool. Me. I got the first card. So this is card oh, number nice. one in the set. Yeah. Dinosaur just taking a bite out of the world. I didn't know the world could bleed. <laughs> That's Bleeding lava? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, so th this is maybe the premise for it all. A hundred million years into the future, they came, swept through time by an accident of science. Can the human race survive, or will these towering monarchs from the dawn of creation once again inherit the Earth? This time for all time? The ultimate nightmare is now a reality. Dinosaurs attack. Wow. <laughs> Epic That stuff, is awesome. Man. Yeah. What's up here? Oh, so here we go. What is this? This guy, we got a scientist here, Saurian Secrets. So this is the Prometheus log, Dr. Elias Thorne, temporal physicist, space station director, reporting. My staff and I have been working feverishly to reverse the cataclysmic time tilt and send the dinosaurs back to their own era. Finally, after 40 sleepless hours, I slumped over my desk and had a curious dream. Yeah, so it <laughs> looks like this was <laughs> his dream. It looks like one of the Martians, right? Right, yeah, I mean, that's like a, a kind of a, a dinosaur Martian, but it's interesting. So Dr. Elias Thorne <laughs> is our protagonist here. Oh, wow. Now look at this. The nuptial nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> Going after the uh, bride and groom. Yeah, and look what's on the back. It's the wedding invitation for the reception. Oh, that's freaking awesome. Thotted in blood. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Oh, fantastic. All right, uh, next one here. Soviets versus the Demetrodons. Oh, look at that. Oh, no. The <laughs> Going after the towers Kremlin. are falling. Yeah. Yeah, it's another. Oh, this is the translated edition because it's from the Russian newspaper. Oh, just the details <laughs> in here. And look, there's the actual from the previous card there. We're seeing the, the Saurian and Dr. Thorne. All right, and then here for my sticker, Stegosaurus. Ooh, yeah, there we go. There you see the uh, person who got it from the spike tail of the Impaled, Stegosaurus. Yeah, there. wow. <laughs> and, and then they, this is the thing. So, you know, they kind of misrepresent the dinosaurs in a lot of ways. Like, you know, the uh, plant-eating dinosaurs are chomping on a lot of meaty people. So this is like the educational portion. I bet you this was a way for them to tell the critics, no, 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 they're educational. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's All right, let's great. see what you got. All right, I'm going to pick up my pack here. Let's look at the uh, front of this one. So you got basically dinosaurs attacking each other, like a T-Rex attacking a Stegosaurus there. The poor thing, you know, herbivore. Uh, and then you got some people running down below here. So let's crack this baby open and see what's inside. This is really cool. I love it's got headlines on the back here. So I'll put my sticker to the back 
First, we got the grip of horror. What in the world? This is what I've seen before. They, they call that like a uh, dinosaur Satan. <laughs> okay, okay. Grip of horror. Uh, let's look at the back of that card. Prometheus Log. So, Mysterious Counter seems to inspire the answer to our problem. Uh, let's see anything about what's going on there. I guess it's the same card. Anyway, uh, yeah, Satan's Claw coming to grab the uh, scientist there. All right, <laughs> next up, Manhattan Island Swamped. Oh, my gosh. So we got these nasty bugs just uh, digging into this woman's brain <laughs> with the uh, twin towers in the background there. Sign of the what? times. Yeah. Uh, Manhattan Island Swamped. There's no escape from tropical hell. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. The New York Inquirer. All right. The kernel is shredded. Oh, that's nasty. Look at that one now. Yeah. He's like uh, fireworks in the background, and they're ripping him to shreds. The poor kernel. What did he <laughs> ever do to them? And they got an official dispatch from the U.S. Army here. Oh, this is the this is the note home about the general. <laughs> <laughs> That's oh my dark. God. That's uh, crazy. All right, next up, the perfect wave. You got a surfer on top of a dinosaur here. That Must feels like that the tattoo a surfer would actually get. What was that? I, I, I said, it feels like that's a, a tattoo a surfer would actually want. Yes, on yeah, arm. yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Riding a dinosaur. There's a little bit about that. Yeah, so they do have the preview cards on there. And then Tourist Trap. Oh, look at this one at Mount Rushmore. We got the uh, pterodactyls grabbing people. I, why are they hanging off of the Mount Rushmore in the first place? I don't know. <laughs> but... Uh, yeah, they're uh, attacking people there. And then my sticker is the Brontosaurus, which, uh, what in the world there? His tail is uh, impaling himself? I'm not sure. Oh, it, it impaled a guy. Okay, so there's just a guy impaled on the end of his tail, and he's chomping the lady there up top but see again they, they're famously herbivores the brontosaurus right. <laughs> right. so yeah maybe here. maybe the guy and the gal are vegetarians yeah the meaning of the name brontosaurus is thunder lizard i doubt that <laughs> <laughs> all right what did you get in your uh, blue pack adam all right blue pack time here we go let's take a look here Let's see, all right. Um, yeah, this is pretty wild. Take a look. All right, I'm gonna start with my sticker this time because uh, check this out right here the uh, Parasarlophus. <laughs> so that's pretty intense. That's it, but this is probably the darkest one because can you tell where this dinosaur just got its snack? It is chewing on a baby. <laughs> that that oh is God. what is happening. That, it ripped it right out of there, out of the stroller. So <laughs> that is crazy. All right. Uh, oh, this is awesome. Fast food frenzy. Fast food for the dinosaurs, at least. So there we oh, go. Yeah, attacking the McDonald's. Or yeah, fun McDonald's. The burger bard. And like burger another bard. brontosaurus to chew it on a person. So <laughs> lunch breakers face sudden death. Yeah, that's pretty great. <laughs> uh, I'm going to see what they have. Oh yeah, this this is this is pretty funny because uh, I've seen this card before. It says, uh, "Let's see, kids ran amok, scrambling for their lives as a gigantic beam crashed into the main counter on the and the roof caved in. Especially tragic was the slaughter of Leonard Demille, hired last week to play Randy McDougal, the company's <laughs> clown mascot. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Randy McDougal. That's Love great." That. Oh, check this out. Monster in the Museum. So there Ooh. we go now. Went there to see the bones, got the real thing. Uh-huh. Uh, and, ooh, talk about gruesome. 
We got the gore on that one. Our force is flattened. Yeah, so it looks like, oh, yes, yeah. So here's as an official dispatch from the army that there was General <laughs> Frank Manchester was killed in the service of his country and species. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at this. Okay. Trilobite terror. Ugh. So that is pretty gross. Uh, I wonder if that's modeled on like one of the artists or one of the people at Tops, you know? Yeah. But that, that's what another that thing mean? where it, it says here that there's like, you know, that it's saying here that uh, trilobites, flesh eating worms from the Devonian period. I'm pretty sure trilobites are not flesh eating worms. <laughs> <laughs> Just look at them. They're, they're, they're prehistoric cockroaches, essentially. Yeah, you know? yeah. <laughs> but the what right here, I don't know if you can see this real well, but Rustling Riot is a card. That feels like one that Mickey would love to see and you'd love to check out. It. Uh-huh. Rustling Riot, so that's pretty cool. All right, last one here, Homeroom Horror. So no, oh, in the classroom. Going on? Yeah, in the classroom. Yep, students and substitute teacher eaten alive. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least it was the sub, you know. That's what I was going to say. Every kid's dream, right? <laughs> All right. Well, let's uh, wrap this thing up and uh, choose our MVPs from the pack. Sounds good. All right. We're back to wrap things up. That was uh, three packs of Dinosaurs Attack. Uh, lots of gruesome, lots of gore, lots of blood. The The earth is even, <laughs> I don't know if that's blood or lava, like you said, but that was uh, pretty crazy. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to let you choose one from each of your packs, but the one I'm going to choose for mine is uh, the Colonel getting shredded wow. and the, the, the note home, you know, on the back <laughs> to uh, the it's poor nice family, touch, right? Yeah, there you go. Uh, two dinosaurs just pulling him apart. That's pretty gross right there. That what is. about you? Uh, uh, well, so for my first pack of, uh, I really liked this one where you have Jaws uh, being chased by this, you know, <laughs> not quite a dinosaur. That just doesn't look like a dinosaur to me, but so be it. So just crack me up that this great terror of the deep was uh, was running in fear. But then uh, from the other pack, I got to go with the wedding day. I mean, that is just it's too great. good. And especially with the bloody, the bloody invitation on the back. I mean, so great. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like uh, I would love to just if if I I knew about these cards earlier, I would have had a substitute wedding cake at my wedding and done this with the, <laughs> the bride and groom impaled by yeah. a triceratops. Your uh, your invitees get a <laughs> card in the mail with dots of you know red dye or blood, whatever. It'd be intriguing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> would be very intriguing. So <laughs> this was fun. I'm gonna uh, open up my woo chapter keeper. Yeah. And get my MVP. Speaking of Batman like returns, love to do. And uh, there we go. We're two in. We got uh, what was her name? Nasal Hazel, the garbage pal kid there. And then now we're gonna put in the Colonel Shredded from Dinosaurs Attack. I I think definitely the Colonel Shredded is more gross than the uh, Nasal Hazel there with her snot bubble. So. Uh, that will be my uh, my number one for for now. We'll see what happens next time when we open up. But man, this was fun. We should try to Definitely. do this more often when we got the same set of cards, you know. For sure. I would I love having a crossover, right? I've been enjoying just being a part of the Wax Pack flashback crew, but now to actually be literally uh, opening the packs with you, it's even more fun. That's <laughs> what it was always about, right? Is like getting together with friends and trading and showing them off. So. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. So uh well, thank Adam for uh, coming along with this episode. Like he said uh, earlier, make sure you follow him over on Wizards Podcast. He's also got his own Adam Pope channel where he opens up all kinds of stuff. And then, of course, TRN TV right here. And when this video drops, uh, we'll still have a little bit of time left in our giveaway. So if you go back in the feed, I'll also put it at the very end of the show when you get the uh, extra videos pop up. Click over to the Greg Hildebrand uh, cards and that video has the uh, the giveaway which we're doing right now. I think that's good through May the 25th. I said I was gonna go ahead and uh, choose a winner. So make sure you are entered in that real easy, and uh, all the details are right there in that video. So 
Adam, it's been fun, man. Thanks for uh, thanks for doing this. Definitely, and uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to the next pack. What do we got? Do uh, you got any particular cards coming up you want to tease maybe on your side? Ooh, I mean, I'm, I'm very excited. There's so many possibilities, but I think the next one I'm going to open up is another uh, top series, and that is the Rocketeer, because I loved the Rocketeer back in the day, and uh, I've, I've, I've actually bought packs uh, you know, a few years back myself, so I'm excited to open up another fresh pack. It's been a while. Did I send you a full set? You did. Oh yes. Yep. Okay. I I was thinking I sent a, a full set to somebody. I couldn't remember if it was you yeah. or somebody else. I got I, I got it right here. I always have it nearby because I love it so much. My full box set of awesome. Rocketeer cards. All right. Well, we'll be looking forward to uh, seeing Rocketeer cards then coming up, and then more of the grossest cards ever right here. So, Adam, it's been fun. Thanks for joining me on the Wax Pack Flashback, and uh, look forward to your episodes as well. Yep, more to come for sure. All right, everybody. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time.